in this video i am going to cover load shedding scheme using under frequency relay means 81 in my previous two three videos i have already shown the grid islanding and load shedding and uh, today's video will cover how to use under frequency relay 81 and how to set the loads one by one and let's check what will be the bus voltage or the grid stability so let's start i have i have considered the same network where grid is there one transmission line is there 400 kb and this is the transformer 10 megawatt generator is there and this is the generator bus and some loads are connected here in this generator bus and i have split it all the 16 mba loads into eight equal rated lump loads that means each load is of 2 mba so total is 16 mba loads are connected that means whenever we are going to island this network means the grid is not there this breaker will be open whenever this circuit breaker 31 will be open that means grid is grid availability is not there this generator whose rating is only 10 megawatt that is not sufficient to feed all the loads here so that's why the voltage and the frequency of this bus generator bus will fall down quickly and it will lose the synchronism or the generator will go out of step and 78 relay that out of uh, step or pull slipping relay 78 that will operate and it will treat the generator so the entire entire system will collapse in that case so just to avoid that and to maintain the system stability we need to set some of the loads whenever the grid supply is not available so how to do that using under frequency relay 81 we will see here in this video okay so for that under frequency relay modeling we need to connect a pt pt this rating will be 11 kb by 120 volt okay that's fine and simply connect this under frequency relay 81 so now what i will do i need to set this under frequency relay 81 81 so let's fill this data under frequency control interlock this is over frequency in control interlock the same way under frequency control interlock so here add this setting let it be like 96 percent that means so whenever that frequency of this generator uh, bus falls by four percentage that means whenever the bus frequency drops to 96 percentage that time i want this load will be out of scenario so cb33 cb33 should be open cb33 should be opened let's say at uh, 200 millisecond or maybe 100 millisecond 100 millisecond after opening this grid circuit breaker grid side supply source is not available after that 100 millisecond this breaker will be opened so that this load will be curtailed that means the balance the balance 16 mba minus 2 mba that means 14 mba loads will be there let's let's curtail another two another 2 mba loads so here cb34 i am going to set these two loads cb34 sorry we need to change this time at the same time let's say at 100 millisecond so only these two loads will be out at 100 millisecond okay that's all and let's go to the transient stability study and here event let's create an event grid if there is any fault in the transmission line 
let's say at t equals to one second fault is there so the at t equals to one second circuit breaker generator side circuit breaker uh, means grid side circuit breaker cv31 that will be opened this is the event what i have created this cv31 will be opened at t equals to one second after that within 100 millisecond these two breakers will be opened that means this 4 mba loads will be out so at t equals to one second this cv31 will be opened grid supply will be not available at t equals to 1.1 second these two breakers will be opened so that this 4 mba loads will be out of scenario so only this 16 mba minus 4 mba means 12 mba loads will be connected so that's all now let's move to let's perform the transient stability study now so as you can see at t equals to 0 grid supply is there generator is also there total 16 mba loads are connected and this bus voltage is 96.47 percentage and frequency is 50 hertz so this is under normal operating condition there is no disturbance in the system network now let's move to one second one second when the grid side circuit breaker is opened that means the entire power supply is coming from this generator and you can see 16 mba loads are connected here and the generator is supplying this loads but as you can see this 78.51 percent is is the this is the voltage bus voltage is bus voltage drops down to 78.5 percent and frequency is 50 hertz after that these two breakers will be opened so at 1.1 second 1.1 second no not 1.1 second because the frequency frequency is not falling down so when it will be down let's move further as you can notice this 49 uh, previously it was 50 hertz then it was frequency was increased after that 49.1 hertz and it is going down 48.4 47.8 right and now you can see here this these two breakers are open so in that we have set we have set the frequency setting as 96 percent this that means four percent drop so four percent of 50 hertz that means two hertz two hertz so it is now 50 50 minus 2 so 48 hertz so it is below 48 hertz so that's why these two breakers operated these two breakers are opened and now the loads connected is this much of 12 12 mm loads right so let's check but this happened almost at 2.46 second 2.46 seconds let's plot the bus frequency here bus frequency for this bus so as you can see at t equals to one second fault is created means grid supply is out after that only generator is running so frequency drops down slightly but after it is going off so oscillation started and the frequency now the frequency now started falling like this so the frequency going down 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 and now the system collapsed now what will happen the under frequency uh, that pole slipping relay 78 will operate and it will trip the generator because the system already collapsed so what is the conclusion what is the conclusion only setting this much of load means 4 mva is not sufficient to maintain the system stability right so this is case one let's go let's remove another 2 mva loads 
another 2 MB loads at the same frequency means 96 percent is so this is I am going to set this load also so CB35 CB35 at the same time 0.1 second means 100 millisecond what will happen let's simulate yeah directly jumping on this frequency plotting yes here what we can see this frequency is dropping frequency is dropping but here at here at almost time t equals to 2.33 second time t equals to 2.3 2.32 second the frequency starts rising starts rising right the frequency starts rising but here also as you can see the frequency frequency is 95.3 percent is 95.3 percent is 95.3 percent is so let's simulate once again just to check at 2.32 or before that 2.24 all the breakers are connected means loads are connected at 2.32 at 2.32 slightly more yeah these three breakers are opened that means 6 MBA loads are disconnected and here as you can notice the frequency is 47.7 hertz but what we have said what we have said the frequency here 96 percent 96 percent means 48 hertz so it is below 48 hertz so that's why this 81 really under frequency really operates and these three breakers are tripped let's again plot the frequency here so here at 2.32 second under frequency trips under frequency operated so all the three breakers are opened and now the frequency is rising after that it will go to the stable condition so at 2 2 point almost 2.33 second 2.33 second let's do one thing uh, let's remove another load means cb33 34 35 already done cb36 cb36 at the same time means 100 millisecond and simulate so previously it was 2.33 second now let's check what is the improvement because we have set it another two make another two mba loads so here it is almost same 2.32 at 2.32 to 2.33 seconds not major change let's do one thing let's remove another load CV 37 at the same time 0.1 means 100 millisecond and simulate once again yeah so 2.33 that means the under frequency really 81 will trip here so it is taking much time means 2.33 2.33 second is too much for this generator because the generator is is a very sensitive equipment it cannot withstand it cannot withstand up to 2.33 second so we need to we need to trip this generator well before that so that means till 2 2.33 second means 81 will sense and it will it will give the trip command to these breakers to these breakers whatever required as per the required required uh, loads so it will take much time means response is very slow 
81 relay response is very slow that's why nowadays this this conventional method load shedding method using 81 or under frequency relay is not is not very uh, very useful solution so nowadays there is a scheme plc based scheme or more sophisticated system is there which is called ilss intelligent load shedding scheme where the fault will be cleared where the fault will be cleared maybe within 100 millisecond instead of 2.33 seconds what this 81 relay or the under frequency relay is taking so instead of that to more than two seconds it will it will take action within 100 millisecond just to protect the generator the costly equipment this generator and to maintain the power system stability here so you can you can you can play with that the setting how much how much loads can be can be shaded but the response is very slow for this 81 so in this video up to this we have seen uh, different case scenarios different case studies how to set the loads using 81 relay right we will see in another videos that uh, means adding or adding or removing some of the loads so that will be different case studies okay